प्रोकैरियोटिक जीन्स एंड यू कैरियोटिक जीन्स प्रो कैरियोटिक जीन्स विच आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज बैक्टीरियल जीन्स मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रो कैरियोटिक जीन्स दे डू नॉट कंटेन इंट्रॉन्स मैनी ऑफ द जीन्स ऑफ द प्रो कैरियोर्स दे आर ऑर्गेनाइज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑपेरोन्स ऑपेरोन्स दे आर एक्चुअली कंटिन्यूस सीक्वेंस ऑफ द जीन्स विच आर ट्रांसक्राइब्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पोलिसिस्ट्रॉन और इट इज कॉल्ड एज पोलिसिस्ट्रॉनिक दैट एंड कोर्स प्रोटीन विद रिलेटेड फंक्शन इन केस ऑफ प्रो कैरियोर्स मोस्ट ऑफ द जीन्स दे आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पोलिसिस्ट्रॉन्स पोलिसिस्ट्रॉन्स मीन द जीन्स आर प्लेस्ड साइड बाई साइड एंड दे आर ट्रांसक्राइब साइमल्टेनियसली पोलिसिस्ट्रॉनिक मैसेंजर आर एन ए एनकोड सेवरल प्रोटीन्स दिस इज द डायाग्राम ऑफ अ बैक्टीरियल जीन विच इज पोलिसिस्ट्रॉनिक मैसेंजर आर एन ए एंड एनकोड सेवरल प्रोटीन्स हेयर वी कैन सी डैट दिस इज जीन ई जीन डी जीन सी जीन बी एंड जीन ए सो ऑल दीज जीन्स इन अदर वर्ड ऑल फाइव जीन्स they are placed side by side and they are transcribed simultaneously in the form of polycystronic form or polycystronic messenger rna while on the other hand in case of eukaryotic genes these genes they contain uh, exons and introns what are introns and what are exons introns are intervening sequences within gene that are not transcribed into the protein or into polypeptides while the exons they are the sequences within a gene that encode for protein sequence so this is a difference between the exons and introns exons and introns they are found in case of eukaryotic genes in eukaryotic genes we also see a phenomena which is called as splicing splicing is a removal of the introns from the messenger rna molecule once messenger rna is produced from the dna then the intronic sequences are removed from the from the sequence of the messenger rna this phenomena is called as splicing this is a typical eukaryotic gene here we can see that what is splicing splicing is removal of introns from the messenger rna molecule so this is exon then intron exon and intron so here we can see once messenger rna is produced from the dna then introns they are removed and exon 1 then exon 2 then exon 3 they join with each other this phenomena is called as splicing of the introns from the uh, sequence of messenger rna eukaryotic gene they usually have organized expression in, uh, promoter sequences are the promoter regions they have binding sites near the coding region and binding can block or inhibit the expression and there are sequences near to binding site they sometimes enhance the expression so those molecules they are called as silencers and enhancers if they enhance the expression then they are called as enhancers and if they stop the expression then then they are called as silencers most of the eukaryotic genes they have alternative splicing most have introns and they produce monocystronic messenger rna most of the eukaryotic genes they are large in size this is the phenomena that what is alternative splicing alternative splicing is an other phenomena which has been seen in the eukaryotic genes this is the sequence of the gene where we can see the exon number 1 exon 2 exon 3 and exon 4 in the first messenger rna which is produced from the dna we can see that all the 
फोर एग्जॉन दे आर ज्वाइंट विद ईच अदर एग्जॉन वन एग्जॉन टू एग्जॉन थ्री एंड एग्जॉन फोर सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट मैसेंजर आर एन ए डेट कैन बी प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम द जीन सो एन अदर मैसेंजर आर एन ए कैन ऑल्सो बी प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम द और कैन ऑल्सो बी ट्रांसलेटेड फ्रॉम द सेम जीन डेट कंसिस्ट ऑफ एग्जॉन वन एग्जॉन टू एंड एग्जॉन फोर there will be no exon 3 so in first type of the messenger rna we see that there are all the four exons see or the sequence of all the four exons but in case of second messenger rna we see that there is a sequence of three of the exons exon 1 exon 2 and exon 4 this phenomena is called as alternative splicing and it is the property of the eukaryotic genes this is the characteristic of the eukaryotic genes that they can produce uh, with the help of alternative splicing they can produce different messenger rnas eukaryotic genes they are complex in nature and to identify or to work on it is difficult so computational challenges to identify the binding sites correlate sequence of the expression so computational challenges are uh, computer there are computational challenges which are used to identify the eukaryotic genes so it is not easy to identify the eukaryotic genes and it is more simple to identify the prokaryotic genes by using the computational tools what is difference between prokaryotic gene and eukaryotic gene most of the prokaryotic genes are without introns and they are in the form of polycystrons while on the other hand eukaryotic genes they have introns and they also have phenomena of alternative splicing 